Hello, and thank you very much for the welcome and uh, introduction. And uh, Mr. Serrano, can I congratulate you and Philby's news on this great role as a bridge between Philippines business, overseas investors, and the diplomatic community? It's a wonderful thing to be a, a bridge builder. And in every good party, there is always someone uh, who is slightly different. And I'm afraid I am that person, ladies and gentlemen. So, magandang gabi sa inyo lahat. I apologize for being the only politician here this evening. When I helped uh, Prime Minister David Cameron create the role of Prime Minister's trade envoys in 2011, we tried to analyze the world, a changing world, and came to the conclusion that there were lots of countries in the world that were very important, but wouldn't necessarily be frequently visited by our ministers, and those ministers changed quite often. And we wanted to build a continuity of your relationships, increase the strength of the bridge between the UK and ASEAN in particular, and that was the role to which he asked me to fulfill. A long time ago, before most of you were born, in 1984, Hangang 1986, I was general manager of Cathay Pacific in the Philippines, and so you can consider me a sort of Balik Bayan. And it's been my great pleasure over the last uh, seven years in particular to visit the Philippines as frequently as possible. I think this is my 28th visit in ASEAN and the 8th to Manila. Uh, in order to work closely with our ambassadors, including our ambassador, Laure Beaufil, who is our excellent representative uh, here at the moment. And during this time, effectively, what we've been trying to look at is ways of working more closely with businesses and government here. We've been drawing on some of our own strengths, for example, as the world's number three tech country, the world's number two in aerospace, in order to work closely with partners in the Philippines, whether it's through Airbus, where we manufacture the wings, the landing gear, and the engines, without which Airbus would not be flying very happily, uh, working with Philippine Airlines and Cebu Air, or whether it's in more recent high-tech companies like Gcash, who are uh, at this moment going through a pilot project in the UK, and that builds on other investments by Monde Nissin, the Ayala Group, and others. So whether it's in technology, finance, where HSBC and Prudential are the, in, in arguably the two leading foreign companies in banking and insurance, respectively, or whether it's in consumer goods and uh, high-quality motor cars, uh, the UK is here to work very closely with Philippines businesses. We have 200 UK companies. We have a Chamber of Commerce. Chris Nelson will be well known to many of you. And of course, thanks to uh, the recent elections in the Philippines, we have, as your president, a man who knows my country better than I know it myself. So, Mabuhay ang President, Mabuhay ang Filipinas. And can I just say, before handing the baton on to my ambassador, who will politely contradict everything I have said and put the record straight, that uh, I think this is a great time in your history. I think you have a president who is very pro-business, keen to see the private sector generate the growth that will generate the jobs and opportunities of the future. And we have a very similar-minded prime minister who is himself uh, a very successful businessman, and this sets a good environment for greater cooperation between us. Around two and a half billion of trade per year at the moment, and that will continue to grow fast with strong uh, investment as well. So I hope very much that those of you who are Philippines businesses will come and introduce yourselves to our Director of Trade. Uh, Lindsay is wearing a striking blue dress. Come and introduce yourself, and our Ambassador Laure Beaufil will now give you some correct statistics and food for thought. Thank you very much. Maraming salamat. <laughs>